We're back. You're listening to Executive Leaders Radio. This is your host, Herb Cohen. We'd like to introduce Kimberly Duell, a managing partner Philadelphia of an organization known as Friedman LLP. Kimberly, what is Friedman LLP? Uh, we are a traditional public accounting firm headquartered in Manhattan with offices throughout New Jersey and right here in uh, Center City, Philadelphia. And uh, where are you from originally? Originally from the wilkes barre Scranton area of how, Pennsylvania. How many brothers and sisters? One younger brother. And how young were you when you started making money? I was 13 years old. What happened? I got sick and tired of asking my parents for an allowance, so I went to my mom and said, what can I possibly do at 13? And she put me um, in her her own uh, office doing bank reconciliations. So you were 13 years old, and you told your mom you wanted to earn your own money, and she got you a job at the age of 13 doing bank reconciliations. Mm -hmm. That could be somewhat confusing, especially for a 13-year-old. How did you feel about that gig? I was super excited. Um, I always liked, I think, even at a young age, being around adults. And I liked having the ownership of something to do every day after school from 3 to 5. And that was my job. You felt you wanted the work. You wanted to own something 3 to 5 after school. You wanted to know you had stuff to do. So you also mentioned you had a goal when you were um, 13 years old. What was your goal? It's somewhat embarrassing now looking back. But um, So my mom was an office manager for a Kentucky Fried Chicken franchise. She helped to do all the bookkeeping and the books for all the stores. So watching her and everyone else in the room, I wanted to take care of my own books. So my goal was to have three or four stores of my own someday. And what happened by the age of 16? I had four of my own stores. What what do you mean you had four of your own stores? You're supposed to be going to school. What do you mean you had four of your own stores? So after school, I would um, go into the office and I paid bills and I, you know, wrote the checks and dealt with the invoices and and I got to get everything ready for uh, the mysterious accountant who needed those books and records at the end of every month. So it's pretty obvious that you really enjoy the art of accounting and bookkeeping. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Drew. Kim, can you tell us a little about your mom and dad growing up? Sure. Um, I mean, I lived in the traditional Brady Bunch type family. Um, unfortunately, when I was in elementary school, my um, my dad got sick. So my mom, um, who was a stay-at-home mom who worked part, part-time, she did have a part-time job, she had to become very flexible when my dad got hurt. Uh, so she then took on the, a full-time job role while my dad was recovering. And, and how did that make you feel, seeing your mom, you know, dive into action like like that. Uh, I saw a different side of my mom that I had never seen before. You know, my mom was the, you know, the caretaker and, you know, took care of the house and, and everything. And now I saw her take charge of everything, both within an office setting and still at home, taking care of my dad, the family, the house, everything. And you're obviously a very responsible person. Did your mom inspire your responsibility, do you think? Every single day to this day. Yes. And, and what does your mom think of your success today? Um, so my mom is always encouraging me to to talk about my success more. Actually, just yesterday, she told me I put my light under a bushel or I hide my light under a bushel or something. I thought she was telling me I was overweight. I didn't know what it meant, um, but she she's super, super proud. Why do you think your mom wants you to talk more about your success? Uh, She just thinks that, you know, all of us that when I say all of us, myself and my brother, that we worked really hard for where we're at and we should just be proud of ourselves. It sounds like she's proud of you, too. Mm -hmm. Shannon. Kim, how old were you when your dad got hurt? Um, It uh, was sometime in elementary school. And what impact did that have on you and your family? Um, for me personally, being that young and just seeing the role shift, uh, fear, there, uh, we were scared. Um, what, what did that mean now that my dad, who had always, you know, he worked two jobs for as long as I knew, and now all of a sudden he wasn't working at all, and my mom took over that role. And it was just a, a lot of fear until, you know, my mom showed us everything was going to be fine. And what did you learn from that experience? You have to be flexible. Um, you have to be strong. Uh, and and it takes it truly takes a village. You know, we had support from outside family, from you know, obviously inside my grandmother who helped us. Uh, but it you know, together you can do anything. How many years between you and your brother? There's two. And so tell me, you, you said you like to take charge of things. Did you take uh-huh. charge of your younger brother? I I did. In um, what ways? Right from an early age, uh, I was. 
empowered, I guess, uh, to, I was going to teach him how to read. That was my goal. When he was three years old, I wanted to teach him to read. So we would sit every day with a book, Danny and the Dinosaur, and we would go over all the words. And eventually I took him into my mother's bedroom and I said, my brother, Freddie could read. And she's like, he cannot, he, he just memorized it. And he read the book from cover to cover. And, uh, I, it was a proud day. Not maybe not so much for him, <laughs> but for <laughs> and, me. And, and what does that relationship with your brother and the way you taught him have to do with the development of a team in your life today? It's just it, it's working together. You know, it's it's working together, and it's celebrating those successes. Um, it, you cannot do it alone. Like I said, it takes a village, and whether that's in the office or it's at your house well, or it's in your you community. You certainly demonstrated at the age everything. of 13, you know, asking your mom to go get you a job and then secondarily teaching your brother how to read and showing <laughs> your mother, you know, you really do know how to develop people. Philip. Yeah, Kim, with as much as you have accomplished, uh, what's the next uh, chapter for you? Just continuing to develop, you know, the folks that I get to work with every single day at the office. And then also I have two daughters at home and they're my legacy at the end of the day. And just to leave behind great, responsible, kind, humble children. Oh, talk a little bit more about that. Um, so, I mean, when I talk about the office, I, I still enjoy every day working side by side with all of the with all of the staff, especially the younger folks who are just coming in from school. I love that. And it's the same thing at home. It's taking that home and teaching them. So there's a lot of uh, mentorship uh, that's, that's really important for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Every single day. Going back to when you were a child, Kimberly, you, you organized everything really effectively. Mm -hmm. You mentioned. How does that uh, relate to what you, you're doing now? Yeah, and what kind of stuff firm? were you organizing anyway? Well, so uh, at, at home, uh, when I was young, I would organize everything. Uh, my earliest memory was the little golden books that we had, and they were all the same size, but that sort of wasn't enough. So I would look through the titles and I would organize them alphabetically. Uh, but I noticed that that organization does play into my everyday today, you know, from my three different calendars and color coding everything that I do each day. Um, but it makes it all possible. And, and at least for me, it, it helps keep me organized and focused. And even on the craziest of days, it, it keeps me centered. What's the benefit to your clients of your um, stuff? Uh, the relationship every single thing that I do and just the fact that I'm still in public accounting today comes down to the relationship. That's the reason why I do it every day. I, I, my clients are my family. I want them to call me for everything and it extends out into the staff room. I want them to come in to me with anything. That's why we do this. I thought, I, th I thought where you were going to go is that you help keep your, your clients organized. You help oh. keep the staff organized. I didn't expect that thing about the relationships. Yeah, the organization plays a part, but it's the relationship that gets you in the door every day. That's what keeps your people coming back, both either from a client perspective or your team members. It's the, it's the relationship. I mean, people say all the time, you know, people don't quit their firm. They quit who they work with or for, and I truly believe that. True. Kimberly, how do you know you're doing a good job with your daughters? Uh, when my oldest daughter was um, writing an essay for school, she shared the essay with me. And one of the things being a working mom is you're constantly struggling with guilt of not being home enough. And she wrote all about how I was her role model and how seeing that you can balance both and be successful, that was the first time. Up and until that point, I was, you doubted every day. And how did that make you feel? Wonderful. And, and it, for the first time in my life, and probably very up to very recently, at the age of 49, I admitted to myself I am, I am guilt-free, and I'm truly, truly, truly happy with what I do um, at work and at home. And Kim, what have you learned from your daughters that you bring to work every day? They're fearless. They are absolutely, positively fearless. And with that organization and everything that I have, sometimes you're not fearless. Everything is, it's a calculated decision, everything that you do. My daughters are just, if they see something they want, they go get it. Um, they're not afraid to travel. They're not afraid to try new things. And it's, that helps me um, to become a better person. Wow. What's the best part of your day? Uh, the best part of my day is in the morning as all of the staff is coming in and they're saying good morning. And the best part of my evening is honestly when I go home and I see my girls. And my husband, he would kill me for not putting <laughs> that in there. What's, what's the website address of this organization known as Friedman LLP? It is Friedman LLP. 
Let me have that one more time. Friedman LLP. Com. We've been speaking with Kimberly Dula, managing partner, Philadelphia Freeman LLP, here on Executive Leaders Radio.